Hello, here you can see me flying in our drone the game in a recently released arena and as you can see we got great looking caves and overhangs and also we have great performance on this and we didn't even need to use LOD so we have zero popping and the reason why this is working so well is because I used an extension I'm working on for Mesh Combine Studio that is able to uh, really give this great performance. So let me show you how we do this. Um, so we are inside Unity in the editor. You can see how convincing this looks. And basically, if I would disable the rocks and course this is light map so you can see issue here but it's it's too smooth and the quality would be like it's a day and night difference even if you use a voxel terrain which is actually compatible with this because you can always place rocks it will still look too smooth so for us to solve this and now I will show the original rocks which are not light map uh, we use uh, just real rock models and I click on one and you can see just how our artist placed those. The whole issue that comes with this is that you go inside <laughs> and there is just overlapping rocks and this causes basically a massive overdraw and it's super bad for performance. So if I go here and I select overdraw you can see the issue and then we have another issue is that if we go below the terrain we have all these rocks sticking through <laughs> which are never visible so we need to solve this and for that I made this extension of Mesh Combine Studio which is able to remove geometry that is overlapping another issue with light mapping which we use in our case is that all these invisible rock triangles will waste a lot of light map texture space which is like a huge waste and just a bad way of doing it so let's remove the overlapping geometry so I place the rocks inside uh, Mesh Combine Studio and let's search here let's remove this bound limitation and the mesh bounds so if I go up here you can see that how the rocks will be combined in cells let's do that multi-threading and this already reduces the draw calls from almost 600 to only 66 and this will give a big performance improvement already but still it does not solve our overdraw issue so let's uh, remove the overlapping triangles by clicking on this checkbox then I just need to put my rocks on a layer for selection so I select it here and then I need to choose a layer that is free to do this uh, removal on so let's disable the gizmos and now let's combine and see what happens so you can see that we removed 36 percent of the triangles already and the overdraw became a lot less so if I go to shade it you can see what happened I go here through rock and hey there's nothing inside like it should be and this by itself will just uh, run already 56 percent faster and then of course with the reduced overdraw this gains even more performance so the next step is to remove triangles below the terrain as you can see here that's another huge waste so these are on horizon sky space also I added the feature that uh, like we use horizon here which does not have colliders so you can remove geometry below the terrain without colliders so let's combine it again and BAM! here you have it 
we removed s almost 70% of the initial triangles, which will run like 333% faster. And it looks really clean and like it should look. So if we go back to the overdraw, you can see just how much it, it changed. So if I enable original, like this is like a little overdraw nightmare where this is very good result. So basically Mesh Combine Studio allows us to run this arena on low-end hardware where we get very promising results because of this. And if we would use the original rocks, they would be bad for performance and also bad for light mapping. And another thing, GPU instancing can never beat this because we draw almost 70% less of the triangles. So there's no way to beat this with instancing and also because instancing is already slightly slower than cell-based combining and then with this reduction in geometry it can never beat it. So that's it. Um, basically this extension uh, will support uh, LODs like uh, Mesh Combined Studio itself. So the geometry removal will also work on LODs. We don't use it because uh, it would uh, we would use more light map space and in our case we simply can go without it still runs fast enough but of course if you use a bigger terrain then uh, you might want to use LODs and that will just work fine so uh, thanks a lot for watching and I will make more tutorial videos uh, about how Mesh Combined Studio works in depth when I will release this thank you